to Morgus Presents. Morgus Presents is brought to you by Cox Communications, rebuilding a greater New Orleans together. Well, good evening, my dear friends of science. Oh, I've been waiting for you tonight. And those of the higher order, so exciting is tonight's experiment that I have called the United Nations. That's right, the United Nations and invited the International Peace Committee to come right here to the laboratory. You can imagine the importance of what I'm about to unveil. Now, I know some of you must be wondering, uh, what can possibly interest the international community, right? <laughs> it would certainly have to be something uh, that would affect all nations in the world, right? <laughs> How does world peace sound to everyone? World peace, <laughs> peace everywhere. Now, I know that sounds a bit off the wall. No, don't take it off yet, don't take it off yet. Yes, indeed, it does sound off the wall, but I, Morgus, have under these wraps a peace weapon. <laughs> oh, I can hear some of you skeptics out there watching saying, how can a peace weapon bring peace? Well, ye of little faith and dwarf comprehension, give me just one minute and I'm going to unveil a brave new world for you. <laughs> Hang in there, just a moment. All right, let's tell you, you just pull it off when I give you the cue, okay? Oh, <laughs> all right, friends, before the representatives from the United Nations get here. You, you deserve to know what is about to happen here tonight. Now just suppose for a moment that some obscure genius working all alone without government help invented an unusual device that would change the attitude and the personality of every living person in the world to where there would be total peace and love at all times between each other and, of course, all nations. <laughs> I know, I know, that sounds ridiculous, right? Like something out of fantasy land, doesn't it? <laughs> well, so did walking on the moon years ago. Well, my friends, one man, one poorly endowed research center has discovered a way to change the entire world. Yes, friends. You are going to see, that's your cue, idiot. Get the thing off with, oh, come on, hurry, boy. We've got thousands of scientists watching here. What you are seeing, my friends, in a second, will surprise you. Here they come. <laughs> Get a good shot of this, fellas. Yes, I know, it looks like bubbles, right? But my friends, they're not ordinary bubbles. They are highly concentrated, ionized, Love bubbles. Oh, go ahead, go ahead and laugh. When they burst, my friends, they let forth, well, a type of euphoric type of gas which permeates the air when they burst. And of course, when this gas is breathed, oh, I better quickly, <laughs> quickly, I don't want this to happen. I have a little plug that I put in my nose here. Yes, yeah, a little filter here that I stick in there. <laughs> I don't want it to happen to me right now. It gets into the lungs and then into the brains and, of course, the bloodstream and causes a decided personality change in attitude, sort of a peace and love attitude. Well, it's like bringing about a new and a better breed of human being. Imagine breathing this all the time, and it's absolutely not harmful. No, I know what you might be thinking. How on earth are you going to get everybody on the planet to breathe this love gas? <laughs> well, well, ye of little faith. Okay. As I've explained many times, the earth is very limited in air. We only have 12 miles to about 20 miles of decent air in here. And of course, all of that is now being polluted all over the world. And you know when there's some type of an explosion, well, like a, like a volcano. It goes all over the world. I mean, there's no limit. And we're, we're like in a big bubble here ourselves because there's just so much air and that, then you go out into the ionosphere. Well, my friends, if we were to place these large plant facilities like factories, well, well like this, uh, this drawing I have over here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's just like a nuclear power plant except we have this huge smokestack type of uh, apparatus up here and of course all the bubbles come out of here like this and they go up 
into the atmosphere. And as you know, just like nuclear fallout or anything else that goes high, it travels around the globe. If we had one of these plants in every other city or major city in every other country, we could encompass the entire world, friends, with these iridescent love bubbles. No one would escape. No filters would help because that's only a temporary thing. <laughs> now you see what's coming. Now you can see why I'm excited. This is just the beginning, friends. The greatest idea in science to come in your lifetime is going to happen right here on your television tonight. And as for the rest of you down there at the station, don't go away too long. I'm going to let you run that little entertainment right now, but be back in a few minutes, okay? All right, Chopsley. This is... <laughs> oh, oh, there you are. Oh, I told you. I told you this was big stuff, my friends. As a matter of fact, I took the, uh, the filters out of my nose because the UN people are coming here. And just. Oh, oh they, that could be them now. Oh, I told you. I told you this was big stuff. Oh, hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Come right in, please. <laughs> well, we appreciate you uh, coming over this quickly. Yes. Uh, we are from the United Nations, the Peace Committee. Uh, They're here to see this uh, bubble machine of yours. Oh, oh, yes. Here it is right here, sir. <laughs> well, as I told you, it, it does everything I said. It sets forth these iridescent bubbles into the air. Now, this is only a, a prototype. The buildings will look like this, the big plants that are set in every city, you see. And as a matter of fact, come see my theory here. Uh, as you know, the Earth is, is only allowed about 12 to 20 miles of air. We're like in a bubble ourselves, and we're running out of good air, my friends. We will place these, these, these huge factories all over the world like this. You see, the factories, are, they look like big nuclear plants. And the bubbles will come out of the top and go into the atmosphere. And these iridescent bubbles will doctor, go everywhere. Yeah, doctor. Uh, What about the expense of manufacturing these bubbles? Oh, they're not expensive at all. We use, we use solar energy to power the plants. And as a matter of fact, we use, we use natural fertilizer. Fertilizer? Fertil oh, oh, here comes Chaffley now with some. <coughs> yes, he's loading up the machine. Uh, we, have a, we have a Guernsey on the roof. Yes, but um, what if a country does not wish to be improved in this way? Oh, well, listen, of course they want to be improved. I mean, science has improved everything. That's right. Science has improved uh, medicines we take, the food we eat, uh, the machines. But we have never, gentlemen, improved the human race. Yes, but doctor, it sounds to me as if you are tranquilizing people. Tranquilize? Oh, no. as a matter of fact, my friend, we're letting fresh air into these people. We're changing their personality. We're, we're, we're bringing about a higher order of the human race. No, no. Yes. Doctor, what would happen to the economy of this uh, world, you know, the police, the, the armies of the world, even them. the lawyers, half you the won't. lawyers would be out of business. Oh, you better believe it. They'll all be fired. That's right. But they said the same thing about the scribes. When, when the printing press came out a thousand years ago, all the scribes yeah. lost their jobs. <laughs> In fact, all the secretaries were worried when the computers came out, too. But that won't happen. Yes, well, how, how would a country who did not wish these bubbles keep the bubbles out of their territory? Uh -uh, you can't do that. The air belongs to everybody. That's so the air moves from one country to another. Nobody can claim air, my friends. Un, un momento, profesor, un momento. Yo entiendo que la idea es magnífica, sin lugar a dudas, pero tenemos que recordar que nosotros uh, vamos a perder el trabajo en el Comité de la Paz, ¿verdad? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I said. What, you... what about our jobs on the Peace Committee, doctor? Huh? Oh, We would be that... out of a job. Oh, of course, that's what he's worried about. They see, they're worried about their jobs. I'll tell you what, fellas, just step around here. I want you to breathe a few things. I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> Oh, as a matter of fact, excuse me just a moment. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I feel wonderful, <laughs> Doctor. You feel This nice. Is a, a wonderful idea. Magnifico. Ah, Magnifico. Well, you're really going. I'm going to give you a little present in a moment yes, here. What, what could we do for you, Doctor? Oh, I'll tell you what you can do for me. I'm going to give you a little gift here to take back to your peace committee, and I want you to get in touch with me later tonight after you talk yes. to them. Okay. Oh, I'll do better than that. I'll set up a. This is a satellite, the closed circuit. We'll go around the world, show all the delegates to the United Nations this wonderful peace machine of Magnifica Dr. Morgus. Si You'll do this tonight? Claro que sí. Como tonight? Oh, oh, ahora mismo, esta noche, doctor. Oh, oh, Felicitaciones, profesor. Oh, Muchas gracias. Oh, Hasta luego. Muy oh, amigo. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Yo quiero. Bye -bye. Yo quiero. <laughs> oh, I told you this was big. I told you it was big. Probably the president. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Mrs. Fetish, what are you doing calling me at this hour? I've got the biggest thing in science happening here, and you're calling me about the rent? Listen, hold on a minute. Hold on for a year, ten years. Stay tuned for more from Morgus the Magnificent.
<laughs> okay. Oh, I've been waiting for you. I just gave a little induction of electrons to create the negative ions into the bubbles. And of course, that creates all the <laughs> exciting more gas that we've been telling you about here. We've got the whole United Nations involved here, my friends. What we... Uh-oh. I hear some... Oh, no, that couldn't be my landlady. Oh, no. And I am sick and tired. My key doesn't fit. You had the locks changed again? Yes, I... You know I'm supposed to have keys to this apartment. It's in the lease. Look, you're breaking in at the wrong time. I don't care. You're gonna... I am not going one more day without my rent. rent. Okay, you're going to get your rent. It's coming tonight. Believe me, tonight you're getting it. Now. I believe that right. when I see it. All right, what else? Yeah, I want to check around this place and see what's going on. I'm making a list. Look, I don't have time for... Give the... it to my attorney and he's going to get you and these two weirdos out. Oh. I... Oh. Go ahead, make your list. Hurry oh, up. Oh, my God, sorry, look at sorry. all this. Like, oh, look at my wall. What do you mean? Covered with trash. Trash on my beautiful wall. Trash? That happens to be my, my, my awards. Awards? From the junk collector's convention? My goodness. And wait. That's the strangest smell I've ever smelled. It smells like you got a cow in here. A cow? Oh, yeah, sure. I've got a cow. Yeah, out on the roof I have one. Oh, very, very funny. Make <laughs> me laugh again. Let me get on with my list. Filth and grime and chemicals on the floor. Look at the walls. Look, you've got shelves in the walls. You've got nails in there. What's shelves wrong? Shelves and nails in the... <gasps> what on now? The ceiling. Graffiti written all over the ceiling. What graffiti? Oh, how can we ever repair that? I'm going to have to paint in here. Those are the names of some of the greatest people in history. That's oh, not graffiti. That's horrible uh, looking. It's just a mess. Of... Oh, no. What? What's that over there? Oh, oh, oh that, that's Chopsley's uh, bed. That is a hole in the wall as big as Grand Canyon. You're not oh, getting away with this. stupid Chopsley. Uh-uh, you're going to pay for this. Oh, no. What? Oh, I don't believe this. What? My beautiful carved wooden door that was here. You have a, a metal door over the master's bedroom? Oh, the master moved out years ago. Oh, and what moved in? I heard of gorillas. Oh, I am oh, so all right, sorry. all right, all right. I tell you what. Oh, you're going to be surprised. Come over here. Oh, oh Mrs. Oh, Fetish. You, you, it you, better you, be something. Believe me, believe me, uh, Mrs. Fetish. Look, come here just a minute. I've got a, I've got a surprise for you. All you have to do is, oh, excuse me just a minute here. What is this? <coughs> that smells what? kind of rather delightful. Oh. Of course. <laughs> I feel so happy. So light and I'm happy. happy. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, oh I feel wonderful. <laughs> Would you step a little closer? Oh, of course. <laughs> I have never Mrs. realized Mrs. that you're so manly and attractive, Momus. Oh, well. Oh, it makes me feel that I want to do something special for you. Is there anything that I could do for you? Uh, anything. Uh, uh, how about uh, the rent, Mrs. Fetish? Would you mind forgetting the rent? Done. Oh. We'll forget the rent. What, what, anything what? else? Yes. Uh, what about the damage I've done, you know, oh, to the apartment? Forget the damage. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, I think maybe I'd like to go downstairs and fix up and Bring you maybe a little light supper oh. up here. Oh, wonderful. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I explain to you how I feel. I tell you, it's great to be happy, isn't Light it? Light as a bubble. Well, look, I'm hurry back. So happy. <laughs> Go down to the quick stop if you wish. <laughs> That's where she buys everything. Oh, I tell you, we've got Mrs. Fetish where we want Master, it now. it's going to wear off. Oh. Oh, yes, uh, that's right. Oh, hurry up with that, Chopsley. Hurry up, put some more in there. Uh, look, go, go get the hoses. Uh, we're going to have to pipe her apartment. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, we're going to pipe the neighborhood. Uh, uh, get two hoses, okay? Uh, <laughs> you see how Mrs. Fetish reacted, eh? Well, we're going to pipe it. Her apartment's right down below us. We're going to put a little hole and, of course, pipe the bubbles down there. Keep her happy. Stay with us. The best is yet to come. Oh, yes. That looks lovely, Mrs. Fetish. Oh, <laughs> really so does. Sweet. Oh, oh boy. She's went and took her hair down, and, you know, she doesn't look too bad. But, uh, 
bear with us just a few minutes. She's decorating the place. Oh, How do you like this effect, Moma? Oh, Moma. Yeah. <laughs> well, Alma. <laughs> oh, do call me Alma. Okay, sweetheart. Well, what do we do with all of this? That's for Chopsley's little oh, bed over there. Oh, for Chopsley. There. Okay. I thought it would cheer the place up. Look at the, the pillow. What is this? That's the bedspread. Just put that over oh, there, honey. Chops oh, has never had a bedspread. <laughs> oh, oh, boy, Chopsley, you're really lucky. Uh, do you like My, this combination? Oh, he loves all of oh, those, yeah. Uh, a little toy. <laughs> oh, a little toy for Chopsley, okay. How Chops. about going over here? I okay. have some, some nice flowers for your vases over there. Okay, you just put them up <laughs> Which there. Which ones do we want? <laughs> How about this? That's pretty, oh, that's yes. very pretty, okay. Oh, uh, lovely. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, those are my chemicals, Mrs. Yes, isn't it lovely? Look. Oh. Oh. All right, Mrs. Shettis. Uh, oh, okay. wonderful color combination. That's beautiful. There's a picture. You need a picture in your wall, Mom. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, right here. Oh, that's okay, okay. Perfect. What else, Mrs. Perfect. What is Doilies, this? Doilies, doilies for Face your cloth. table. Oh. Doilies. Here's oh. one. Another okay. one maybe here. Oh, I can set my chemicals on oh. there. <laughs> uh, nice. Well, we're going to eat on this table oh, a little later. Oh, Let's see. Yeah. Maybe we can put... Oh, aren't these so pretty? Your machine oh, here. Oh, plastic. Oh. How's that? <clears throat> well. Oh, it's just so lovely. <laughs> now... Here's what? a surprise for you. What? Something for Eric. Something for Eric? Guess what it is. Oh, what is it? I bet you looks, can't guess. I sure can. Looks like some kind of a net. It's a skull cap. <laughs> Look at that. A skull cap. <laughs> Do you like it, Eric? Yes, Master. <laughs> you see, he's just as happy as we are. <laughs> now I must ask you a question, Moma, darling. Do you have a record player? Oh yes, a record player. <laughs> I brought of a course. record. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, music oh, is my goodness. favorite thing. <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, what do you have there? Oh. It's a very special record. It's a dance called the tango. Oh. How, how do you do it? Oh, well, it's a very romantic dance. You, you take a rose and put it in your mouth. You put it where? In your mouth. Oh. And then you just do as I do. Oh, just... That's a funny dance. You uh, put a rose in your mouth? Uh, uh, okay, I'll do whatever she wants. Here we go with the... <laughs> You sure they're on their way? Oh, thank you very much. All right. Oh, oh, hi, friends. The United Nations representatives are coming back here tonight to sign an agreement to take my invention for the whole world. And I told them I'm not going to charge them anything. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I've got to put my filters in a little tighter. Oh, yes, Alma. <laughs> Bring it over here, dear. Oh, uh, Alma's decorating the place. And we're so happy, aren't we? Yes, let's well, let's hurry up down. with this dinner, Alma. Oh, uh, Alma got us some uh, spaghetti and meatballs. From the quick stop. Oh, from the quick stop. Yes. Oh, I knew that. Are we, uh, are we going to have some bubbly? Oh yes, some bubbly. <laughs> oh, okay, where, where, where do, how do you open this thing? I remember when I was in school, they did that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh there's a lot of fun to that. Huh? Okay. Oh, how Very wonderful. Good. All right, Alma. A little toast. <laughs> a little toast. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps we ought to be a little closer, huh? Mm. How about a little closer, Alma? <laughs> oh, let's move in a little closer. <laughs> now tell me, dear. <laughs> oh, you are so cute. <laughs> Look at that sweet face. Wait a Wait a minute. I lost my filters. Uh, Alma, help me. Little I'm white in things. A, I'm in the mood for a waltz. 
<laughs> Come on, darling. <laughs> oh. Oh, you. <laughs> you look lovely. Oh, I can hear music already. Oh, can honey, you? I can hear music, too. Oh. 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 Hey, hold it. Hey, wait. Oh, look who's here. Hello. Who are you? Uh, I'm, I'm a bank robber. Uh, uh, I'm just here to take your machine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, go ahead and take what you want, son. Peace to all of you. <laughs> Peace be to you. <laughs> oh, 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 I do love you. I do love you, Alma. <laughs> oh, that fell off. Oh, look at that. He's taking Isn't that away. Lovely? All right. Bye-bye. Oh, and so neat. Oh. <laughs> oh, I tell you, you have to be nice to people. Yeah. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing here, Alma? I, oh. Dare you? Oh wait, wait, wait! I, you drugged me. I didn't drug you. You tricked me into coming up to your apartment. No, I didn't, you Alma. You dirty old lech. Alma, I'm I... gonna get you now. You Alma, are in deep Alma, trouble. Please, Alma. You are in deep trouble. What are you doing, I'm Alma? I'm gonna get you. What are you trying to do? I'm just gonna defend myself against you. No, you you're swine. not, Alma. Don't oh. you hit me. Oh, Alma. don't you hit me, Alma. Be quiet. You said yeah, Dr. Marcus, we're here for the machine you, yes, you invented. Me, you. Dr. Marcus, you. the you. peace you. machine. Oh, peace. Oh, you. <laughs> when Morgus, the magnificent, takes us into the realm of science. Good night. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Presents was brought to you by Cox Communications, rebuilding a greater New Orleans together.